Jeff the plumber here from the plumber's truck. You know, well, you gotta know, but this tomorrow, Saturday, September 11th, 20 year anniversary. Do you know that there are kids in school, high school and below, that have lived after that event? So they don't really know or understand it like those who lived through it. Obviously, I'm one of the ones who lived through it, survived it, um, a New Yorker through and through. But with what's going on in the world right now, like Afghanistan and our military and the anger against our government over the way the military is treated, deep thought here, um, a saying or a thing that President Reagan said, I don't know if you heard it, I'm going to read it right now, so I'm going to look down at my phone and read it, but I just want a reminder of 9-11 and freedom, okay? So, President Reagan said, freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it on to our children in their bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and handed on for them to do the same. Or one day we will spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it was once like in the United States where men were free. Now obviously he met men and women, but men, society was free. Freedom. Freedom. We take advantage of freedom. I can give an example. A few weeks ago, I was at the River Cats game, and uh, the national anthem was being played. And someone in the row, few rows, four or five rows in front of me, was sitting down with their hats on backwards while the national anthem was being played. Which, meanwhile, around them, you could see people who serve saluting as the national anthem being read, and they were sitting down. And I was like, I have to just let these fellows know this is uncalled for. And I went down to them and set, went between them, two fellas, and said, Hey, just don't want you to know what you just did was disrespectful. Leaving your hats on and not standing up for the flag when the national anthem is being played, when you have military people all around you, because your freedom. You like your freedom? Well, at that point, they... The person jumped out of the seat, and it was a woman, a gay woman. Um, I didn't know that. She looked like a dude. Uh, it was my mistake. I apologized right away, actually, because I didn't mean any disrespect against a woman, even though she still sort of stood and took her hat off. And how funny is that, that I didn't even know that, I couldn't tell. And she started yelling and shouting at me and, you know, making a scene. And I just leaned in and said, hey, you like flying your rainbow flag? That's because of freedom. And that's because the men and women who fight for you. So when you hear the national anthem, pay them respect by standing up. Or don't come to a ball game. An American thing, the baseball game. That's so American, and we have the national anthem before the game always because it is an American thing. And standing up for them two minutes that that song is sung, sometimes by a wonderful singer, sometimes by a not-so-great singer, it doesn't matter. It's us saying how wonderful it is to live in this country where we could be free to do or say or be whoever we want, like I'm doing right now. And on 9-11, the 20th anniversary, respect. Every military person, every person who serves our country, who fights for our freedoms, policemen, firemen, medical people, they all do stuff that keep us in the freedom state that we live. Jeff the Plumber from the Plumber Shark. Peace. Deep thought. Have a great day.